Hello everybody and welcome back. This is Excel Video 91. All those offset videos that looked really complicated and took some time to get through. Now it's time for the payoff. I want to show you some really cool things you can do with offsets starting with this video. What I have today is the AAA Multi-Specialty Clinic and we're tracking new patients. We've got from January of 2008 down to June of 2010 and we just want to keep track of how many new patients we've seen. And what I want to show you is the chart that I've created, new patients for the last six months, and it just tracks that. This is where the power of offset comes in. You can do a lot of cool things with tables and making charts auto-update, but you can't do this. Let's say that instead of six months, I want to do 12 months. And the chart just updates automatically. No, 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 I don't want 12, I want 3. No, I want 5. No, I want 20. It's awful small. It's kind of messy down here. But if we go back to a year's worth, you know what? There's my last 12 months. And uh, guess what happens when I add uh, July 2010 to that? You know, July 2010 is the last. Well, I'll show you. Let's come down here and do JUL 2010. And it's summer, so we're not seeing as many. It's 725. And that fast, there's the 725 for July 2010. And, oh, you know, I don't want 12 anymore. I want 6. There you go. It's incredibly powerful to be able to change one cell and make the whole graph change automatically. That whole chart just goes. Uh, there are uh, two things I want to show you today of how I made that work. The first one's easy. What I did is I'm in the Formulas tab in Name Manager. What I did is this uh, name right here is Include, and it tells you the current value is 6. That's just what I currently have in the cell. And all I've done is say, hey, my X months tab down here is just named X months. Cell G14 is named include. That's all there is to it. So all I did was just take this cell, define a name, call it include. And then what I can do once I've defined this name as include, it makes this formula easier to see. This is the formula that, um, that's making this chart go. And this is the one we need to spend just a minute with. Let's scroll down just a little bit more. So the name is last X. And as you've come to expect now, I've got a name out there in Name Manager defined last X, and you better believe that if you go look at the, the data source for this chart and for those columns, it's going to be last X. Well, how does last X work? It starts at X months, which again, X months is just the name of my tab, C4. So what it does is it says I'm going to start right there at the top of the range of my monthly new patient count. Okay, so I'm going to start at C4, and then what do I do? I'm going to count the total number of non-zero numbers. Remember, we're looking for numeric data with count. In the way this X months uh, dollar sign C dollar sign C works is, is it's just saying, go tell me how many numeric values there are in column C. So Excel goes up here and it says, all right, Nate, you've got 31 of them now, and if you're interested, you can see it right here at the very bottom. That count, count equals 31. I've got that set up down there. So I know I've got 31 rows. And then what I'm going to do is, where remember, rows says, how far down do I go before I start my range? Well, I'll tell you how far down I'm going to go. I'm going to go 31 rows. And then I subtract from that 31, how many months do I want to include? Well, right now, that's 6. So what Excel's doing is it's starting at C4 going down 25 rows and saying, all right, I want to start the range right there in February. Then what do I do? Well, I, I'm not going to move any columns left or right. I'm, I'm right where I want to be. I'm in column C. I'm happy. What's the height of the range I want to graph? Well, it's, it's from my X months tab. It's include again. It's just this 6. So what the 6 says is, all right, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, graph that. And you know, if we scroll this up, you'll see the 768, the 625, the 529. That's what we're charting. And then the width of my range is simply, well, it's going to be six rows, but I only need one column to make that work. And that's how I got this months to include thing to work. I mean, you can do one, and <laughs> or you can do, you know, 18 months. And again, I, I, it's, it's so small, particularly where I have the month and the year here, it's too small to find all this. But if I put this on a bigger chart, I probably could fit all that. And if I didn't want to do that, I could do the last nine months. Maybe my compensation or my bonus is based on the last, whoops, three months. That easy, you can change your chart. And the whole chart just goes automatically based on a defined formula there 
this offset function using that defined formula and then setting last x to be the, the source of this data. Stay tuned, we're going to play uh, a little bit more with this. There's some cool things we can do now that we have this set up, and that's what we'll do next. Thanks for watching.